Last year, you remember we had a really special family uh, visit the studio. Sam Bloom was left confined to a wheelchair after falling six metres from a lookout in Thailand. Uh, incredibly, the Aussie mum credits a magpie with helping her and her family recover from that accident. It was an incredible story. New York Times best-selling author Bradley Trevor Grieve created a book about her remarkable recovery now. Uh, two of the biggest stars in Hollywood are set to transform the tale into a movie. And our very own entertainment reporter Catherine Eisman sat down with the author. Catherine, good morning. Uh, tell us more. Good morning. Absolutely, Larry Kiley. If you didn't know it was true, you'd think it was a tale straight out of a Hollywood movie. And that's exactly what it's about to become. So how does a family from the northern beaches of Sydney end up having their tale told on the biggest screen here in Hollywood? We caught up with the Aussie author to get an exclusive interview to find out. Twenty-four books, 30 million copies sold, and the best-selling author of the critically acclaimed Blue Day book. It's fair to say that Tassie-born adventurer Bradley Trevor Grieve is a bit of a big deal in the publishing world. But despite his global success, it's a small Aussie magpie by the name of Penguin who will be bringing his work home. Is it surreal to think that a book that you wrote is going to be turned into a film with some of the biggest names in Hollywood? It is kind of insane to think that we have Naomi Watts, Emma Cooper, who I've known for years, uh, Bruna Papandrea, who would be arguably Australia's most successful producer ever, and uh, Reese Witherspoon. What's extra special is that Naomi has spent uh, much of her life on Australia's beautiful golden beaches and she wanted to go back. So it wasn't hard to convince him that the movie had to be shot in Australia. To understand how this epic book to movie deal came about, it's important to understand the truly extraordinary story that inspired it all. It's gotta be the most moving true story that I've ever heard. Sam Bloom and her husband Cameron Bloom and their three sons were on a holiday in Thailand about four years ago. And they climbed up to this hotel lookout and unbeknownst to them, the safety barrier was completely rotten and rusted. The barrier just collapsed and Sam was taken over the edge and fell six metres directly onto concrete below. Her injuries were absolutely horrific to her skull and her brain, both her lungs collapsed, organs were badly damaged, numerous fractures and most crucially, uh, she shattered her T6 and T7 in her spine, and she should have died. She was a super sporty, active person whose whole adult life was about sport and adventure travel. She felt like two-thirds of her had died and was just on for the ride. She felt like a piece of her has died to this day. She was very clear about how devastated she was, and she sunk into a deep depression once she finally got home. And then the most extraordinary thing happened. This sea squall picks up and blew a magpie chick out of one of the giant Norfolk pines out in front of the house, it landed onto the driveway and this little tiny baby chick was badly injured. And the family had suffered so much they couldn't bear to think of this animal being left. After trying all these different techniques for Sam to break through her depression, it was caring for this battered baby bird that finally got her back, uh, got her life back together. family thought they were rescuing the bird, but in fact the bird, by bringing the family together and by lifting the mood in what was a truly tragic period of their life, actually rescued them right back. How did you end up being the person to tell the story of this Bloom family? Cameron was taking these wonderful photographs throughout the course of Sam's treatment and of course documenting every moment with Penguin being with Sam, and the two were inseparable. These wonderful photographs were put up on his Instagram account, Penguin the Magpie. It became so popular that a number of publishers reached out to Cameron and said, these photographs are so wonderful, we'd like to publish a book of them. I was so moved by Sam's courage and Cameron's compassion and the extraordinary character of this little bird. And I called him back and said, I have to do this book. Darling, you're with me, always around me. Only love me. We spent thousands of hours, literally hours every day on Skype. And over time, as the trust built, we got deeper and deeper. I'm the only person to have read Sam's diary from her time in hospital. People with spinal cord injury are five times more likely to commit suicide in their first year after the accident. But I would try to be upbeat, 
in all our conversations. And then of course, as soon as we go offline, I would transcribe the conversation and I'd just be in tears. My wife would tell you, I, I wept every day for a year writing Penguin Blue. 12 months and 10,000 photographs later, Penguin Bloom was born. The book became an instant bestseller. Did you ever have any initial thoughts about who in your wildest dreams would play Sam if it ever was turned into a movie? My agent, Cassie Evershevsky, said to me, it, literally those words, in your wildest dreams, who would play Sam Bloom? And I said, Naomi Watts. So she's someone that has the ability to go deep physically, and emotionally caught up with Emma and I said, I want you to know that I'm using you to get to Naomi Watts. She's worked with her for many years. Naomi was the matron of honor at, at Emma's wedding. She took it to Naomi and the next day called me and said, Naomi loves this, I've read it, I love it. Not only does she want to star in the leading role and play Sam Bloom, but we'd like to produce it. Needless to say, the project took flight. Now, as this incredible tale is brought to life, Penguin is proving that angels really do come in all shapes and sizes. Darling, you're with me forever and always. Wow. How, how beautiful. And of course, we, we met the family on this show, right? Mm. Catherine, a, a percentage of the book and movie will go to charity, so tell us about that. Yeah, which is so great because it is about her recovery and I think they wanted to be true to that. So both Bradley Trevor Grieve and Cameron Bloom, who took those remarkably intimate photographs of his family's recovery that are featured in the book, are both donating 10% of their royalties to Spinal Cure Australia to help find a cure for spinal cord injuries. And what's exciting as well is the publisher of the book is also going to match that. And if you'd like to get involved, just head over to our website where you can click on a link to, uh, to donate to that important charity. But uh, such an amazing story to see that it's kind of gone from the northern beaches of Sydney and now will be, you know, on the biggest screens all around the world is, is pretty exciting. And so much heart and love in that story. I cannot oh, wait to see that on the big screen. Beautiful. Uh, Catherine, be Catherine, I'm reminded of, uh, do you remember Naomi Watts played the mother in The Impossible, the tsunami and movie? And you were going to say that. I totally yeah. Did. Yep. Amazing, so right? Great. And she brought yeah, such she heart does. to that true story. And I remember the shots on the red carpet of Naomi standing there with the mum and the sons and, you know, mm. similar stories. I get shivers when you talk about it. Yeah. It's, she does and she has, she brings so much compassion and mm. the fact that she's, you know, Aussie girl from the beach I think makes her the perfect choice. So it's great to see it actually, you know, it, this, this kind of movie dream has happened and their family will be on the red carpet here in Hollywood, no doubt. Yeah, when, when are we going to see it? When, what's the timing? Soon? Like, yeah, it's going to start soon. Yes, in um, in about March next year. So they're already in pre-production, but they've okay. got a shoot start date. So it's 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 really going to happen. Oh, fantastic, uh, Catherine. If they uh, do need to recreate that scene where they appear on the morning show, <laughs> um, if you come up with some dodgy people over there, we will be very very upset because we are available. Yes, just let very, them know. Very let very that excited. buddy of yours, Brad, know. P it's pivotal. <laughs> it's, it's, pivotal it's pivotal, and no one can do Kylie and Larry like Larry and Kylie. That's what we always say. <laughs> Sometimes. Yes. Sometimes. 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 Or maybe yeah. they can. Thanks, Great Catherine. stuff, Catherine. Beautiful story. Thank you, Catherine. Soon for you. Thanks, guys.